Hello again, this is Bob, just introducing the second part of my three-part short story, The Man in the Ashen Tree. Enjoy. Become confused as you've seen no one in the clearing upon entry. You look frantically around in a startled motion until the voice speaks again. There is no need to be frightened, my child. I will do you no harm, nor could I if I wanted. You think to yourself, there are no bushes to hide in, and the only tree I see is the ash, where the birds all gather. So there can't be anyone there, it's human presence would scare them all away. You walk slowly towards the ash, while passively exchanging glances with the host of birds perched upon it. As you walk around the tree, passing your hand along its trunk, as the feel of the wood becomes increasingly strange in texture, you begin to worry for when you reach the other side. The face may become all too real. At the base of the tree was the unmistakable shape of a bound man. A face, torso, arms and legs seemingly melded to the tree itself, as if they were once in the same and had been for decades. We meet at last, my little friend. Your presence was brought to me by my winged friends above. I am Barba. It has been many moons since I have set my eyes upon a person, for that I am grateful. Why are you stuck to the ash tree? It's trunk, you ask. The eyes of Barba slowly turn to meet yours. Because there are no other trees in the clearing, he replies, with a smirk and a laugh. You persist in your questioning, hoping for an answer. The man in the tree sighs. Does it matter? I am here, you are there. Answering your question would make it easier for you for to comprehend my current situation. You sit on the dust, riddled ground, facing Barba, and continue to inquire. Unfortunately, Barba replies, I am trapped in this ash tree, because I sinned against the very tree of which I am imprisoned. You begin pondering what Barba could have done to deserve this fate. And you ask him as much, 